Hi, everybody. Author Melissa May Younger here. And for NaNoWriMo, I have outlined my entire novel that I'll be writing. It's potentially titled The Cursed Runes. And as you can see, I have outlined all 20 chapters, some in more detail than others. And the way that I usually write is that I make an outline um, of bas the basic plot points that I want to happen or, you know, things that characters might say or do. Uh, but then I also like to leave enough room for myself to uh, be creative in the writing process. And it might change a little bit. The story might take on a, a slightly different form than this. So I try to be flexible in that. And then there's the other project that I'm working on during NaNoWriMo, which is getting my book ready my second book in the series to self-publish. And my goal for these books is that the second book would be published uh, by December, sometime in December. I'm kind of leaving it open. If I get it done early in December, that'd be awesome. But if it happens closer to the end, okay, you know, so I'll, when I feel ready, I'll announce that deadline to, to others and especially those who have read the first book. And then I want this third book that I'll be writing during NaNoWriMo to uh, be able to be published by February. So that's almost a rapid release strategy but usually rapid release strategies are a little bit closer together. That would put my books like two months apart, but also going to um, offer up my first book um, adventure of the adventures in Eridu series for free for about five days or so. You can do that on Kindle and I'll do that promotion right around the time that I'm releasing the second book so that people can try out my first book for free. And then if they're interested, then they can continue on in the series. So that's my kind of strategy that I'm working with right now. And I'll be doing all that kind of stuff, planning and um, writing and editing <laughs> during NaNoWriMo, very busy. I also wanted to say that like, I found personally that it's very difficult for me to find motivation to work on my own stuff at night. On occasion, it works. Okay. I'll get done all my work for clients during the day. And then at night when I have like my free time and I'm working on my own projects, sometimes I'll have inspiration. Sometimes I'll have energy left over. But a lot of the time, honestly, because I am a freelance writer, I'm writing all day. Sometimes I get to that point and I'm just like, I just can't do it. I just, I don't have the motivation or the energy. And because I'm self-publishing these books, there's no one externally pushing me to get it done, right? So I have to find ways to motivate myself. I just wanted to share with you what I'm going to try to do during NaNoWriMo to combat that because I really do want to, you know, get this second book out there and write the third book at the same time. So I'm going to devote like the first couple of hours of my day to just doing that, working on my own projects, because I know myself and I am so responsible when it comes to doing work for other people. And I know I'll make the time and energy to get that done. So I'm going to put my own stuff first in the day and then get done the stuff for my clients later in the day. I will be checking in at like two points during NaNoWriMo, like halfway through and then at the end to share an update of how things are going for me. And I would love to hear from you if you're working on a book during this time, where you're at in that writing or editing or publishing stage and what kind of work it is. You know, I'd just be interested to, you know, hear about what other people are working on. If you like videos on writing tips and publishing, all of that uh, creating, then I would say subscribe to my channel and we'll have some fun together.